So we shot from 3, 7, and 15 yards. Um, did pretty good. Had a couple staggers at the bottom, but overall, I was pretty proud of myself. So, but I passed. So I w was one of the first people to get to the range, um, as well as uh, get to the classroom. Classroom was full. Um, I got a spot up front, um, second on table on the right, um, coming up uh, right on the edge right there. I wanted to hear and see what the uh, teacher, the instructor was uh, talking about. Uh, class was full, young, old, even had a high school principal in there. And uh, they provided us coffee and donuts, so that was awesome. Keep us, keep us going. Some of my artwork right there, the range bot, the American Cobra, as well as the Texas flag. Yeah. So I'm going to edit over this part, um, but overall, in, in, a, in a short sense, um, you know, it was very eye-opening to to be at the gun range uh, today, um, and just. Uh, be more aware of what the laws are of signs posted at businesses that I really didn't pay attention to, attention to before taking this class. Um, and if people realize the amount of time, money, training, uh, equipment uh, that that individuals who who want to be responsible gun owners, whether they're just homeowners or uh, lot, you know everyday carry um, gun owners. Uh, the amount of time and effort and energy and training and all that stuff uh, is a lot. And you realize, like, we're the good guys. Um, the criminals, the thugs, the people that don't follow the law don't care about any of that. They don't care about taking a class or getting trained or doing it the right way. So if they get pulled over, um, there wouldn't be any issues with the police or law enforcement. And some people will argue, well, it's constitutional right to carry or own a firearm. Um, in this day and age, you know, you just have to protect yourself, uh, not just from individuals, but from the law as well, so that you can continue to exercise those rights. Um, one of the other things I noticed that the classroom was was full, and the instructor said that he, when he's, he can tell that people are picking up on the idea of, of wanting to to um, to hold their license to carry, license to to carry a firearm. Because it, because every class he has now is full, and this classroom was full of, I mean, it ranged from young, old, different professions, white, black, Hispanic. Um, it it shows you that that people uh, of all walks of life. Uh, want to do the responsible thing. Um, we even had a high school principal in there. Um, and in and, and, and doing that, uh, in going through that class, I realized that you know these are everyday people just like me. They just live and work uh, differently uh, than I do. They work at a different place, they live at a different place, but we all have the concept, that same concept in mind, and that is we just want to protect ourselves. And we want to do it the right way, if, if at all possible. So, anyway, if you can get your license to carry or CHL, whatever you call it in your state, I encourage you to do so. I put mine off way too long. I should have done this a long time ago, but I'm, I'm doing it here. Uh, Texas Law Show even came out and talked to us about um, you know signing up, which I'm going to do next month uh, or sooner. Um, I just didn't want to do it that moment because I still got to turn in my application to uh, my state agency and do my fingerprints, which I'm going to work on that um, today and tomorrow. So, uh, and then it takes about two weeks to get it in the mail, your license. So other than that, guys, I just wanted to share that little bit with you. You have a great day. Uh, I was going to do a live chat this morning, but I'm just a little too tired still. So have a good one. God bless and uh, exercise your right, but do it responsible. And just remember you're accountable for everything that comes out of that firearm. God bless. Right out.